welcome to Univert. In this experiment, we'll be discussing about the resistivity determination of semiconducting wafer uh, using four probe method. Uh, before starting, let me show you what a four probe is. Uh, as you can see it over here, uh, in this part, these are the four probes, and inside over here, the bottom base, it has a semiconducting wafer. So we're gonna measure the semi uh, resistivity of this semiconducting wafer right here. All right, this setup right here is a four probe, and I'm keeping it inside an oven. This oven is, connect, uh, is connected to this device, so we have four probe set up. This will help you to increase the temperature and to decrease it as per required. For now, for now, we're going to increase the temperature from 35 degrees to 95 degrees and calculate the corresponding voltage. If you see this setup over here, it has an oven setup, uh, low heating, high heating, switch on the oven. This switch is for opening on this device, right? If I switch this on, this will open the oven and the temperature will start heating. But for now, let's keep it closed. I'm going to put this in 10 times 1 uh, and I'm going to set it into millivolt. But before doing that, you want to put a constant uh, current. That is a constant current of 2.00, approximately 2.00 because it's not always possible to create 2.00 accurately. As you can see in my reading, it goes from 2.00 to 1.99, which is approximately 2.00. So first you want to be switching it to the current side and adjusting with this knob over here to 2.00 milliampers. Then switch it back as you can get 87.5 degrees Celsius, right? This, sorry, the millivolt. This voltage has a corresponding temperature which can be measured with the help of this thermometer. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the oven. First, let me take the, uh, let me see what's the initial reading I have. Okay, I have exactly 35 degrees Celsius in my uh, thermometer right now. And corresponding to 35, I have 85.6 millivolt so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna write this down on my observation notebook right since I've not made any so I'm gonna go to my table over here I'm gonna go to my table over here and I'm gonna write for temperature which is 35 degrees Celsius my voltage is uh, let's say in millivolt it's 885.3 millivolt right as we know you, we require the temperature in kelvin too anything it is it's plus 273 degrees celsius because the difference between the temperature in kelvin and temperature in degrees celsius is 273 so all you got to do is add 273 to this 35 and you'll be getting a kelvin reading right here now what i want you to do you're going to take a reading for five uh for at least seven different variables from now till you reach the temperature of 95 degrees celsius when you read it, uh, 95 degrees Celsius is your final reading that you should be taking. Let me show you a sample. As you can see in this sample over here, the temperature started from 35 and ended at 95. We supplied a constant current of 2 millivolts over here, constant current of 2 millivolts, and the corresponding Kelvin reading, which is obtained by adding 273, and this is the voltage over here. So let me check it again. Right now, let me open the oven. I'm opening my oven and I'm putting in high heating because I want it to heat very fast. All right, but if you're re uh, if you're if you want really a precise reading, better keep it at low heating at first and then high heating at the second. All right, and for your information, this experiment is the f the half second half of the first experiment that is on your book. That is the first experiment for this is a band gap determination of post box office, and this uh, the second half is four probe using four probe method the determination of resistivity of a semiconducting wafer. So yeah, my temperature is increasing. I want it to go higher. Yes, as you can see, as my temperature is increasing, my values also increase. So let this be for a while. I'll show you a sample. After collecting the values, and what I want you to do, calculate the resistivity in ohm centimeter. The length of this semiconductor will be given to you so as the thickness during the experiment. So when you do that, we know that resistivity equals to, uh, we use the formula for resistivity as given in front over here. Resistivity rho equals to rho naught, uh, rho equals to V by I times 2 pi S. And use this formula to find the resistivity, find 10 power 3 times T in per Kelvin, find rho base 10 uh, per t as shown in the table over here calculate this value table it now as stated by your graph um, by your group you should be drawing a graph 1 by t versus log base 10 
Just remember, you have to draw the graph between 1 by t versus log base 10. And as you can see, this is a model graph that you should be getting. All right. Now, let me show you what I got when I did the experiment correctly. Uh, see, which is exactly. Oh, sorry. Which is exactly kind of the same. So you'll be taking seven different data, you'll be calculating it, you'll be tabulating the data, and then finally you draw a graph. From the graph and from the graph from the straight line point, calculate the gradient using two different points over here, using two different points. Now the gradient we plotted, let's go back to the formula now. The formula of EG, the formula of EG is equal to 2k 2.3026 into 10 log base 10 of s divided by 1 by t we have this right so what i did i plotted log base 10 a row in y-axis and 1 by t on x-axis so let me put it in this way log base 10 row is equal to eg times 2k 2.3 times 2.3026 times 1 by t now this is on y-axis this is on x-axis y is equals to mx plus c <coughs> sorry using this formula m is equals to this value eg by 2k times 3.6 where the value of kb is given to you which is 8.6 into 10 power minus 15 electron volt by substituting these values you're going to be getting the value of eg right here so this will be a value of eg from one graph again what you want you to do is calculate the value of eg from the tabulated value that is from all the tabulated data that you have with you calculate the average Calculate the average of log base 10 rho. Calculate the average of 10 to the power minus 3 by t. Then substitute it in this equation. In the primary equation right here, you substitute it over here and then find the value of Eg. And in this way, you would have determined the resistivity, energy band gap of the required semiconductor. Thank you.